because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted, and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be. The world awaits to receive you. Bitch, I'm back. I'm popular the man. Yes, who's back? Yes, yes, yes. You see, I, I came in a le little less aggy this year. Yeah, let's move forward. Did did Diddy Erder Justin Combs' real daddy? This is part of Puffy on Fire. I wanted to show you this clip. Y'all thought Grace Levi forgot about it. these are the clips that's in my it was in my archives. I was like, let me pull these up. Like, bang, 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 bang. Thank you. I'm able to put it in a sequence that you guys can understand and like. And if you like the live, hit the like button, please. It's 2024. I'm breaking all the curses. No more censorship. God has the final say. And actually, you too. Hit the and like because y'all know y'all like what I be sharing. How about that? All right. Let's move forward. And I'm up in the middle of the night when I'm supposed to be sleeping. Let's go. What? Some evidence is about to get revealed. Okay, this is some brought to you to um by oh, hold on one second. Who is this? Nally Santana. And this is what I'm saying. Some of these things be AI, I think. Okay? Because these are some I was complaining about some of these bots being in my group with profiles with just a letter or just numbers and stuff trying to post sexual explicit stuff so this is for information and educational purposes only um this is all allegedly allegedly because i think they be trying to set people up too but let's listen to this because we are getting more than one resource about him possibly being involved in somebody else on the live mint or attempt. Okay, y'all might want to sit down for this, but rumor has it that some evidence is about to get revealed about how Diddy allegedly unalived his son, Justin's real father. The streets have been talking about how he's not Justin's real father for a hot minute now, but it looks like things are about to get deeper because rumor has it is that Diddy allegedly set up the real dad, his friend Wolf, and arranged for him to be unalived. As it turns out, Justin's mom, Misa Hilton, has been trying to warn us about this, but the truth flew over our head. There's a lot going on here, so let's break down this insane drama. I swear, no matter what we hear about Diddy, it seems like there is always something worse that's just waiting to be exposed. And this time, the streets are saying that Diddy allegedly took out Justin's real father and also kept Justin away from his mom, Misa Hilton, as revenge. Now, in case y'all have not been following the trending tea, there has been talk for a couple of weeks now about how Diddy's first son, Justin Combs, is not his biological son. The streets are saying that Justin's real dad was Diddy's former bodyguard, Anthony Wolf Jones, who passed away in 2003. The relationship between Diddy and Justin's mom, Misa, has been shady from the start because according to reports, Diddy met her and started dating her when she was still in high school and was a minor while he was in his 20s. I've always wondered a couple things. Was Diddy messing with Misa when she was in high school? Shout out to Storm Monroe. Yeah. Okay, so I, I, my math is about right. Fit. And Gene Dell on his damn tour, world tour, all the way to the feds, because that's where the hell he going to be his they number one witness against Puffy, allegedly. They say saying they start messing right. around. Okay. And Diddy's definitely older than her. Right. So y'all can do the math on that. Misa already had an eye for fashion back then, and Diddy set her up to assist on a music video for the group Jodeci. But as it turns out, that was just an excuse for him to get closer to her, and very soon they started dating. But things quickly went left because he was allegedly super controlling and putting his hands on her, and he was also stepping out on her and cheating on her big time. He had so many women on his roster that he constantly cheated with, and he didn't even have the decency to try to hide the affair. Everybody knew that he was cheating on her, but he couldn't take what he dished out, because when he heard that Misa was talking to another man, he lost his temper and put his hands on her. She thought Puff was messing around. I guess like she started talking to the dude from EPMD. He came to see her. 
and Puff beat up till she got up under the beat up literally till she tried to run up under the car. Mm. Wow. As it turns out, he put hands on most. That sounds remarkably similar. He said, well, see, uh, Gene Dell, you better use different description because that sounds like the same way they talked about Cassie running that night where she, Cassie tried to talk to a producer, y'all remember? And he allegedly assaulted her in the car and she tried to run out and he almost beat her under the car too. Puffy loved beating people under the car, allegedly. Sound remarkable, y'all remember that? If not all the women that he has been associated with, and that's just nasty. Now, back to reports of him allegedly not being Justin's real dad. Misa gave birth to Justin in 1993, and for a long time, there have been reports about how she cheated on Diddy with Wolf. Gene Deal spoke about this in an interview, and even though he did not directly come out to say it, he actually hinted strongly at it in an interview. Do you think that Diddy is actually Justin's father? I wasn't there. You know, but I make empty windows like, damn, how your son look like your best friend? Ooh. If, if, if he like it, I love it. Ooh. It's people that said that he looked like Wolf. Ooh. Wait, doesn't this sound remarkably similar? Okay, I'm just I'm just kind of like comparing because it's like they set these celebrities up to have the same type of things going on around them a little bit. Now, allegedly, I don't know, but that's allegedly. And y'all gonna be mad, y'all Beyonce lovers. Don't kill me. But they said that Blue Ivy looks like Jay-Z best friend. And I'm gonna take a whole glass and shut the and Jay-Z best friend is not alive right now. But if you compare the pictures, I'ma just shut up. Doesn't it sound familiar or remarkably similar? But I wasn't there. Okay. Really? And by Wolf, you mean Anthony Wolf Jones. Yeah, Anthony Wolf Jones. Yes. If you're wondering why people would think this, it's because Justin bears a striking resemblance to Wolf. And there's no denying this. Yeah. I mean look at him. Look at him, cause Puffy he is not the cutest in the world, in the world. I'm sorry I had to sing that. Puffy ain't that cute. This little boy cute, and his father cute too. Just look at them, and get this. The streets are saying that Diddy has always known that Wolf was Justin's real father and not him. And that's why he finally stepped in and took responsibility for Justin after Wolf was killed in 2003. See, before then, Diddy had basically been a deadbeat father to Justin and refused to pay Misa child support or render any help to support the boy. She even took him to court in 2004, a year after Wolf passed away, and in 2005, Diddy was ordered to pay her about $19,000 per month in child support, as well as an undisclosed amount in back support. Diddy tried to appeal the judgment, but it was upheld by the appeal court. Did he take a DNA test? Not long after the ruling by the appeal court, Justin moved in with Diddy, and I'm not gonna lie, that was kind of suspicious because how did he go from being a deadbeat dad? Look at the hand. Look at the hands. Look at the hands. Dad who didn't provide for Justin for the first 12 years of his life to suddenly fighting for custody of the boy and winning. Yeah, the math ain't mathin'. And from what the streets are now saying, there is a lot more to the story than we knew. Some allegations have recently come to light about Diddy and his alleged involvement in Wolf's death, and some people are saying that he allegedly took Wolf out. According to reports, Wolf got into an argument with Big Meech of the Black Mafia family, aka BMF, and it evolved into a shooting match and Wolf was killed in the altercation. If you think about it, a shooting match between Big Meech and Wolf didn't make much sense because that typically happens with rival groups who are ops. But in this case, both Big Meech and Wolf were close acquaintances of Diddy, so they were definitely not ops. Well, rumor has it that the fight was allegedly staged because Diddy had allegedly put out a hit on Wolf and he had allegedly asked Big Meech to, she keeps saying allegedly. We just, we just listening. to take him out. Now, the ties between Diddy and Big Meech go way beyond friendship because there are rumors that Diddy and Big Meech were allegedly involved in some shady and kind of illegal business together. Oh, wait, y'all see that person? Don't forget him. There are rumors that Diddy, Jermaine Dupree, and Criss Cross, but I'm gonna shut up. And Big Meech were allegedly involved in some shady and kind of illegal business together. See, the fourth woman who accused Diddy of allegedly S-ing her claimed that Bad Boy Records was seated by Big Meech and the BMF, 
and they used the label as a front for money laundering, allegedly. The court document said, at the time, Mr. Combs had many connections to Michigan, including, among others, to the Black Mafia family, BMF, a drug trafficking and money laundering organization that is rumored to have seeded Bad Boy. Doesn't this sound remarkably familiar? It sounds like the foundation of a RICO charge. It sounds like the same thing. They, you see, I keep flashing back to YSL because, you know, I'm watching it in such detail and listening to what the prosecutors and their foundation is, and they're saying that they're using these um, alleged um, rap um, record labels to launder money, set traffic, drugs, and this type of stuff, and now um, create and do gang activity, which is creating the whole concept of racketeering. I just want to keep putting that in y'all mind so y'all, when y'all listen to this, you see they trying to, they gonna lock everybody up. The whole Hollywood is going to jail. Child, the details just keep piling up. The streets are also saying that Misa allegedly knew that Diddy allegedly took Wolf out, and that's why she filed for child support after 10 years. Like, think about it. Why did she wait 10 years to legally file? And get this, Misa hasn't always been silent about Diddy because she has always hinted that Diddy isn't exactly a nice guy. See, earlier this year, Justin got into a DUI and was arrested, and the next thing we knew, Misa went on an Instagram rant against Diddy where she called him out over the DUI. Misa slammed him on Instagram writing, I'm not with none of that reality TV-ish. When is enough enough? I'm not protecting no one anymore, just my son and all. The children I love have a come to Jesus moment. The statement a fish rots from the head down means that in addition to being a major contributing factor in a family or organization's success, leadership is also the root cause of its failure and demise. The truth shall set you free. She continued, at bad bad boy, I used to want to be a bad girl, but I chose to be a queen, tried and true. I'm not perfect, but I am intentional. I should have kept my child with me. She also said, yep, but that money, you know, sold your child, allegedly, allegedly. And then Puffy allegedly probably has some deep-seated hate and letting that child drink itself to death. Party, drug, no life, no education. Have all the money you want. And he, she said, enough. You're not stopping him from killing himself, allegedly. This is what I'm hearing. I'm just telling you, this is what I'm hearing. But you allegedly sold your son, okay? Everyone has to sit around for years and act like there isn't anything wrong with you. This is where the buck stops for me. If anything ever happened to my son, God forbid, what is anyone going to say to me when we all know whose fault it would be? At the time, we were wondering why on earth she was blaming Diddy for the actions of a grown- No, she know who fault it would be. Hers. Because she should have her son. Money, money, money is nothing compared to the love of a mother and a son and a mother and a child. What the hell is wrong with her? Own 30-year-old man, but it looks like she was trying to expose Diddy and warn us about the type of person Diddy really is. But it flew over our heads. These new allegations have fans in a twist, and they left comments like, Diddy known for hits. Wolf's killing was orchestrated, and it was because he messed with Misa, resulting in the making of Justin Combs. And we're going to stop right there, okay? Now, this was brought to you by Natalia uh, Santa. 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 Senetta, Senetta, sorry. And there's a little bit more that I'm going to show you from this Facebook page.